Hey everyone, let's play Nightingale. I unlocked the minor realm cards transmuter. This is to use your minor cards to affect your world. You can give uh, any kind of benefits. Then I got the effect condition to them, weather, gravity, and other creatures can be transmitted of their, their effect. Uh, can be found in and you also build it. Since mine is really far from the base, so I'm gonna build it here. I'm gonna apply the. I wanted the settler. The settler will give me 1.5 crafted lumber, gravestone, and metals. And you may see the effect like. like matrix it changes the effect of the world it's very nice it's like you're in a VR or something and now there's a trick to so the main reason I placed the campfire in the center because this gives the most boost for light source that way I will can grab these items much quicker and there's a trick to have multiple lumber if you create like for example every two you create extra lumber so for example let's craft four of these so it shows it has four but at the chat box in bottom right left you see i got six lumber and now there's a trick that if you use this one Put your six lumber and this way it's gonna create you extra lumber. That way you can duplicate your lumbers. It's a niche trick. I think it also works with the stone as well. I think the stone doesn't have the but the wood it is. Maybe there are other resources that you can do it. As you may see, I got nine instead of six. This way you don't have to cut trees and you have infinite fuel for your for your base. And it's also good for crafting. You can just keep doing this and eventually you get way more materials out of this. Uh, but minor you get stamina region decrease, but for me getting 1.5 times more more useful. You can even get more smelted ingots. Technically, you should use like an uh, industrial uh, card, but I don't want to switch up back and forth, so I'm gonna do it with this one. As you may see, uh, it would have crafted 12, but it's gonna craft 18 for me. That's, that's the best way to have a huge amount early on. And now I'm gonna set up my portals. Mostly, I managed my then I set up my home base. As you may see, all the re all the crafting station, each individual chest, storage, and here will be my portals to set up. And later on, I need to expand even further. I'll see. For now, this should be enough. Also, before getting these items, make sure that uh, all these crafts even, otherwise you won't get the extra resource. Also, when you're done with crafting, make sure you extinguish your fire if you don't want to waste your fuel. Okay, I managed to build two portals for now. This will be useful for me to make like custom uh, portals with a minor card, for example, if I want to go like just hunting, this part uh, I want to go like just uh, mining iron or uh, minerals I go this portal and I have a set up base there and good thing about you can always open these portals for now I'm gonna go for unlocking the astro card and progress with my my quest full belly and let's go to this this let's equip some there's my weapon. Hey Lee, where are you? What? How? Your companion keep teleporting away. Come back. Come back. 
Ah, uh, here we go. I need this one. Mm, let's unlock the next card. Oh, you can go down and up. There's some enemies. Oh, I don't like those enemies. Thing they have UHP. Even more? I think I'm supposed to go down. Sorry if the game is so dark. Hammer is really good weapon because that knocks them down as well. There it is. And what's upstairs? I'll have to check it later. Let's heal up ourselves that and uh, let's activate the boss. Yeah, I'm waiting. Ah, this challenge. little guys okay now just the boss left Let him shoot, wait until he finishes, and you can buy this. I guess I can tank it through. Crazy. the card I'm still gonna explore upstairs maybe there's something like chest left after that I have to go to the provisioner card and then the desert hair volume any chest here nope there's this guy I think against these arranged weapons are more effective Seems like nothing is here. Yeah, it's empty. It's like a throne room or something. Or just observatory. See the stars. So next one, I should go here. Next to that portal. Let's travel to a respite that 
much quicker. And we go toward that way. Now where is the entrance? Ah, it's here. Seems like each playthrough, it uh, the location of the cards is always different. Okay, they are 30 level, 35. Oh, the fire guy. I hate those guys. Okay. Quickly. Unlock him. I mean, it explodes. I think these guys have less HP. I feel sorry for these guys. I hear these like sound effect, but I don't know where it is because most likely it's the didn't spawn yet. Or it's underground maybe? Ah, it's here. guys ow okay, good the loot I think that's pointless or just for escaping maybe it's like there's something here ah, another chest more potions always useful to have Finally, we, here we are. Uh, let's eat quickly. Get bonus HP. Let's kill the boss. I think it should be one spawn. Later on there will be like two spawns. only does two or three times. There we go. Oh, my hands are broken. Sprain brace. Blocking efficiency. Reduce the melee damage. Reduce. Oh. I wish I know how to recover from that. Ah, you just use the healing salve. Okay, good to know. 
So I got the provisioner card. I got the quest for Wilhelm Sasse. I think it's for unlocking the guns. I'm gonna teleport back. Uh, she's supposed to be which way? The other way around. Actually, I should rest first. They really need to fix the lighting effect because it's like suddenly gets dark. Not like sudden, uh, subtle. But most likely it's uh, something to do with the Lumen GI. I had to put it on performance, otherwise it would lag a lot. Even this low gr settings lags a lot. I really had to change my settings to the DLA because that way I won't see the foliage as a flickering. You still can see in the distance, but at least up close it doesn't look that bad. There we are, Willem Sasse. Okay, you can read it if you like. Okay, interested in proposal, roaming. This is what's to know. Find him, where I can find him. It's going pressing the provision forest. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Because I need to increase my gear score. And from there, I get tier two. No, tier two materials. I think a level fifty or level forty. I don't remember. So for going to the forest provision realm, I highly recommend to bring you a ranged weapon. And maybe upgrade it as well. Because you need to do some headshots and some heart shots. Heart shots are a bit difficult to achieve. I will, like, you need to target their heart. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So let's go to our new realm. So first I have to craft the forest card and a provisioned realm. So give me a second. Thus, this is why I set up these portals to go to the that realm. I also got crafted astral the car that's for later on for unlocking a certain crafting recipe for a certain quest and a provision. So now we have to wait until it opens. I don't know if the creature is gonna attack you or not. We'll find out. Okay, the portal is open and let's go. Okay, here we are. We arrived. A new biome and we need to go find him. Uh, would be a good idea to go to the Fate Tower as well and get the Essence Trader once I unlock everything here. Let's go there. Mark the map, and uh, this way it's much easier to find. While I'm going that way, I also collect some tier 1 essences. Hello, guys. Oh, big ass four. Where are you going? Why are you running away? Oh, they are still tier 1, but you need level 50 to get tier 2. Hi there! Let me get some buffs. You missed. Oh, 
Ow. Let me revive you. Yes. Hope he kills me. Oh, I got resistance. How about the hammer? Yeah. Oof. What you guys were guarding here? I put for the mineral, some chest. Ooh, did they wild cards? I should go collect the minerals though, yeah. Hi guys. Where the hell are you? Lotus, that's very good. You have I guess she died. No worries. If you see minerals, collect them. Especially it's level 40 because these are really good for Crafting to get your higher level gear. Why I'm suddenly level 61? I think this is some kind of bug. He's shaking his butt. Hello, bear. You get stuck. Everything okay? I'm sorry. Almost feels like you can climb, but you can't. Unless I have a climbing pick. But uh, there is no chest up there. So these items are just decoration scattered around. Like if you listen to the story, it says like a. But then portal open, now it's chaos, everything, so it's like spread in different worlds. And since we are in like industrial era, sort of. Okay, here we are at the past Reeves. So he's gonna give us the gun recipe and the rest of the recipe as well. Uh, if you want, you can read about it, what he wants to say. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, top looks man. Yep. Okay. Plants from giving gives you tips and then power and shrunk. Okay. Combination. Yeah, I believe I've prepared. Okay. Seems like because I have the weapon already, the slingshot. So I get the refined workbench and the metal ball bearings. So it's a battle ammunition for your uh, slingshot. And the next one, well played shots. It tells you to have uh, yeah, weak points. Uh, weak points damaging and then weak points will increase damage. Then may able to score headshots on certain creatures, still accept pressure damage. 
and there's headshots and the hard shots. So the best way to find creature use the spyglass. And you maybe want to find deers, but sometimes deers gives you difficulty. So I do you need to sneak up on them and then use the slingshot. Of course he scares him off. Great. There are some deers here. If I can manage to hit the, their horn. See? It didn't work now. Maybe it's better if I find a bar. Ah, now I managed to hit the heart. That way, like, insta kill these. I think it's between here the legs, this part here. I'm not certain yet. Ah, yeah, I was correct. Between his first leg here this spot is the heart but it not only works against deers it also works against bears and does and boars and all sort of creatures but you have to it's not quite not easy to find their weak spots okay let's find a bear we just do headshots you can do headshots with the uh, weapon itself, you don't have to use bows, as it will count. I can show you. Hello, bear. See, it counted. And the quest is done. I just have to go back to Reeves. And he will unlock... It will unlock me that gun. I mean, the pistol. And to unlock the other kinds of guns, you have to go... The provision realm, but in desert and uh, swamp area. Here we are. Oh, yes, I got a back from target practice. Yeah, fine. Okay. Any preparation? I look brazier and the Lanchester pistol. Okay. Thank you for your guidance. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, seems okay. Oh man. I just tell her the truth. Ah, it's to continue with that quest. Okay. Any more wisdom yeah he doesn't have any two more just i have to go back to Wilman sasa to finish this quest which would give you like 100 tier one essence and for here now on i just gonna gather all the what's it called blueprints from this realm and i then return and the last one Je mob spawn. We kill this fire guy because he's the most dangerous one. Be done. And you should get this lotus as well. And you can play minor cards and it shows you where are the challenges for you to complete. And usually there is a dungeon. I think this is the dungeon here. Oh. So his heart is between like this, like under here, this arm, this heart, I think. But you can test it your own. 
This way these guys are really easy to kill. And here is the trader. I kind of highly recommend you to get to the trader first before like exploring other rooms because then you can have higher chance to get all the necessary blueprints. But that way you don't have to waste your time unless you don't want to spend your essences and technically quest you will unlock certain recipes anyway but i do want to unlock them as soon as possible i don't have to worry about these later on so let's go to the dungeon and let's see if uh, the card affects the chest drop right or not because i haven't tested before yeah let's see the dungeon layout is always similar it seems some but the challenge is always to make sure that i'm gonna eat because i think every time you enter a portal your buffs go away ah it does not affect so the these dungeons are separate from the world okay that's good to know ah you're gonna get disconnected if you press the button what why now oh, it should work it could be because of the server issue as well. Because oh! of these traps! Why there are traps here? Not supposed to protect again. The problem, I cannot hit these guys because of... The thing is you can rebuild this. But then you have I have to restart it. I hope not. At least know how, how it feels like when it's failed. Where is the guy? Because of these guys I cannot hit. Okay. I'm not gonna do this anymore because it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Not worth my time. It's just waste my time. Defense is better with more players. I'm returning to my home world. Okay, I'm gonna close this portal because I'm not gonna go back there. Meanwhile, I'm gonna open up the provision desert. I'm gonna go to Willenheim Stasse for extra quests. I mean, completing the quest. Treasure, yes. I found Lawman. Yeah, by Sreeves. Okay. Okay, I'm turning in. Excellent. Eyes. Okay. Any rumors? Oh. Yeah. And here we go. So here we are. I, I should have changed the difficulty. Could reset the portal and make a new realm for myself, but it's fine. Let's go toward the trader first, and we unlock other stuff while on the road. I kill these. So these act like trees, you can... Hmm. They drop lots of trees, I mean, logs, which is good to know. But what kind of materials you guys drop? Ah, you need pickaxe for these guys. Mm, kitten is good for stealth, okay, and heat resistance. What would I call in this game? Walking simulator. So let's see. 
Any new stuff? Ah, oh, you get the refined umbrella, yes. And the intrepid shirt as well, okay. Here's the shotgun. Ah, uh, industry card, very good. The high tent I unlocked in the forest car, so yeah, I don't have to be specific zone. Okay, that's good to know. Need to go all the way one kilometers. Oh my god. 1.5 kilometers. More of these ores. I think this is high chance in desert areas. Yeah, occasionally you find these items automation chest you can provide them items that's for later on the quest oh hello bugs no, i'm not interested once you unlock the desert herbarium this these also ores question can i enter in this building yes it seems See some sort of challenge here? No. Why this building is so empty? There's nothing in it. It's not worth my time coming here. Waste your time. I'm only just halfway. It's really annoying. The portal is here. The trader is here. And the feet tower is here. I'm like, this is nuts. The possibilities you can build, for example, you build a house up there, something like that. Also, the sad thing about this game is that you only have limited amount of building. You cannot build like having a vast amount of building, but the thing does for the servers. That's why an offline mode would be better. Or just if too taxing for that game. I don't know what's so, so taxing. Seems like the desert is not that laggy. Maybe I would pick a desert as my next home. Once I reach like the end game. Maybe. There we are. Come on enemies. Bomb. My goodness, they put maze into the game. Oh, great. Maze with bombs. Yeah, found the way. Good. More maze. How far I have to go? Finally. And it's done. And there were challenges down there? Oh no, why game? I hate this game. Might as well go back. And just get the next trader in from the swamp. Oh, the buffs last 40 minutes now. Oh, so that card is really useful then. So maybe worth making a realm that you use to buff yourself up or switch around. A bit annoying to switch and back and forth, but you can get like a long buffs. I think you're more useful to have. Because then you don't have to waste food. Maybe the late game food. Technically, I could drink this nectar, so this is one day consume. Ah, it's just... Ah, it might be there is a limit how long the food buff lasts. 
Now there's the portal and there's the chest. I'm gonna skip the portal for now. And I go back to my realm because I the desert is so huge. I'm gonna do some grinding here. I'm in the uh, Astrobo level 55. Here I can get tier 2 materials if I remember. As you may see, I increased the level of the realm. It's higher chance to spawn more higher tier uh, items. That's why it's worth sometimes increasing your difficulty. Ah, there's a trick to speed up the animation. You just... Like that. You don't target the animal. Slightly speeds up the animation together. Ah, there's the this one offering altar. Altar. This is also for the quest progression, or you can kill it if you like. Mm. Oh, nice, nice stuff. Uh, the traders are really useful. In my person, I mean, it's better to have the trader than going around. But if you finish the main quest, generally you. I will unlock most of the stuff. Oh, cool advanced tools. Should be all done. Hopefully this will be enough. So let's go back. And now we just duplicate them. That way I'm never gonna run out here too. So... Craft for new items. Oh, I could reach with the advanced 58. Okay. I doubt I need it, but for weapons like guns, I would rather use this uh, ingot. And then you can make it at 78. Ooh. Right. I think the clothes I will do it later once I unlock more. Like I might grab this in interpret shirt and also the backpack, simple pack. Okay, I have the better umbrella. Gives better stamina regen, movement speed, and efficiency. Actually, not as bad, as good. Technically, I should make a gun. I could make it later. Let's go to the swamp provisioner. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we arrived. I'm gonna unlock the the rifle, I think. So I'm gonna go toward the direction. So I'm gonna get the tower as well. I think that's both are in the general direction ah in the swamp you usually get iron hopper is in the desert and shimmering is in the forest oh a big dude are you enemy oh, you... i think you are are you Ah, for offering for you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, never mind. I think that's for the main quest for later on. Let's see. Yes, he gives me the rifle. So there are specific uh, ones to get. Ah, here's the alchemist thingy. Technically, you can unlock this through uh, a quest, but I'm gonna already unlock this. Okay, so I got the rifle, I'm gonna craft it maybe. We'll see. You better I return. Here we are. I'm gonna try to make the rifle, I think. I 
can make my rifle. Let's upgrade it as well. And we need to make some ammunition for rifle. We need gunpowder. Where is my gun? Ooh, I need to learn how this aiming works. Ah, uh, it's the bottom line, okay. I hope it's powerful. I hope it had like scope maybe, better scope. It deals how much damage? 450 damage. And 252 range rating. I hope it's powerful enough. How much it ooh, it's 10 kilograms to bring these. Uh quite a lot. Okay, I think it's better to stop here. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.